In Pennsylvania, we are very fortunate to have many different sources of energy. Uh, some of them renewable, some of them non-renewable. In fact, every geographic province of the state has access to a wide variety of different uh, types of energy and different ways in which we can complete a pretty well-balanced uh, pie with the different options that were presented. However, it is very easy to become a little bit complacent when we're talking about renewables and look at the end game instead of looking at what the individual steps that takes us to producing energy uh, do. Uh, so in this uh, module, we're going to be talking about life cycle analysis. In life cycle analysis, we break out the different parts of the system in a way in which the inputs and outputs of each one of the steps are going to be easily measurable. For example, when you think about production of hydropower, you think about a lot of it's positive. You know that there is basically no carbon emissions and you know that it's a renewable and you know that in some ways you're not affecting the water in the dam to a very large extent but you're ignoring a number of other possibilities and you're ignoring things like the effect of sedimentation behind the dam or the effect that uh, putting that kind of discharge will have in the biota of the water downstream you're also ignoring many social aspects in particular in this uh, dam a native american population was displaced in order to build it Therefore, being able to see uh, this area as a system and putting on the life cycle analysis along with the other si components of economic and social analysis will give us a much better picture of what we're getting for our renewables. This stream has been uh, exposed to extensive acid mine drainage, as you can see. So that brings us to an end of the pipe solution, quite literally. And one of the main questions that uh, we face when we try to remediate an, a system that has been extensively dis disturbed is what is it that we are trying to achieve? What is our ultimate goal? Do we want to return this system to its original state? And if that is our goal, what is that original state that we're searching for? We can also take a more pragmatic approach and decide that we want to uh, just basically clean up and remediate, uh, get rid of the major contaminants, get rid of whatever hazardous materials that might be present. But even under those conditions, we face the challenge that these maintenance needs to occur in a long-term uh, perspective. So if we think about uh, different companies coming and extracting some of these resources, many of those companies are not able to commit to cleaning up and to maintain uh, the local environment in the long term. So a lot of these responsibilities end up falling in the hands of the government. And the long-term management has also been uh, something that has been managed by uh, governments uh, as a general rule. Clearly, this needs to change, and this changes through application of life of cycle analysis, where you're understanding uh, the consequences of each one of the different processes that are taking place in the chain of production from the time of extraction to the time that you are disposing your product and the fact that you might have many different endpoints depending on how many different uh, sources of materials and source services you are uh, needing in order to produce a certain end result.